goal is to win the championship. Display for Carl Edwards when he is able to get that win and potentially it could be for a championship. Kelly. And you can see Carl had gotten out of his car after making a handful of mock qualifying runs. He's now returned to the garage. The team has been running on the same set of tires throughout this practice. Um, and here's what Carl said after that final run. I come into the green for you. All the way center on the floor. Come into the green. One and two, more front grip. First half of the corner, more overall grip. Second half of the corner, turn three. The same, center of the for the same. A little tighter on the floor. And now the team has put some sticker tires on the 19, and they're going to go out and make another mop run. Man, I'm glad I didn't have drivers that gave me all that information. That's too much pressure because that was pretty clear what you needed to fix. I like it better when I just don't know it's low on grip. I can, I can work with that. So, that so, yeah, so let's explain the difficultiness of it. Is you're coming off turn four to get the green and you're too loose. You're coming off turn four to get the checkered and you're too tight. What do you do? But, so what's the most important part, right? If you make it come to the green better, you're going to have to tighten the car up. You're going to have to tighten the car up to make more rear grip, which means during your lap, when you're coming off turn four, you're going to be too tight. And that's why this is a difficult decision to make, is that the speed coming to get the green is very important. You need to pay attention to it, but of course you need to pay attention to the lap as well. So that's the balance the teams have to strike. Yeah, but as a crew chief, you also it will point you in the direction of what to change. So if you change a shock or a spring, you have to live with that for the whole lap. But you could adjust your air pressure and change the front side of the lap versus the second half of the lap. So those are the little details. It's not just, hey, I'm tighter, I'm loose, but where and at what point during the lap. What an emotional weekend it was for Matt Kenseth a week ago. In a position, out front, looking like he could win the race, make sure he had a guaranteed spot in the championship four at this. The second to last restart. Kenseth comes down, the eight is there. And that ends the title hopes for the 20 team. And we look at this, and, and I'll have to bring up the fact that Kenseth wasn't in a must-win situation. This team, points-wise, where they were running, even if he finishes second or third or fourth or fifth in this race, he still advances into the championship four. That was, I think, a big picture thing that got lost in that accident that took place last week. So, so, so the spotter took the spotter took blame because he said clear. But as we watch what happened, okay, he was clear. Look right at it. He's clear right now. Okay, everything's fine. But as the 88 blocks the 18, the the angle to the corner it's much shorter. The distance to the corner is a lot shorter than the 88. So he was no longer clear. So when the spotter said clear, he was clear, but he became unclear. And so as Matt Kenseth started to come down and they make contact, the spotter started saying inside, 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 too late. And that's why there's only one race car driver. The spotter they cannot drive the race car. The race car driver has to drive the race car. He's got to make that final decision. He was clear for a split second, but when the 88 got hit and he turned straight to the corner and the 20 was out to the right, the distance to the corner got longer. So the 88 got there before the 20 thought he was going to get there. The 20 turns down. And, that, and he was there, spins, into championship. And Rick, I really think your point is the, the bigger global point in my mind, and that is it wasn't a must win for Matt Kenseth. And when you go back on NASCAR America Monday, Jeff relived the radio from the crew chief to the driver, and I think it was just a little casual and, and a little, the demeanor was just, okay, well, I think you haven't figured out yet this is what you want to do. And I think, I'm not blaming this team, this is something they'll learn for. But this weekend, let's fast forward here in Miami, when you look at the championship four, I don't see how you don't get on the plane to come down here yesterday, unload your car today, thinking this is a must win because of the level of competition. But it's a must win until it isn't, until teams are having a, a, an issue. And then I think leadership has to come through. The crew chief has to be very clear. If you're the race car driver, Jeff, and it's not a must win, I have to tell you point blank, listen to me. 
We are not going to be casual. We're not going to talk in code. I want you to make sure you understand me crystal clear what your goal is on this final restart. It is to outrun someone. It is to not let someone by. The situation has to be crystal clear to the driver so he knows what he's doing. And let's, let's go a few weeks back. It was crystal clear that at Talladega, those three Gibbs cars, what they needed to do. They right. needed to ride around the back and not get in a wreck. They did that. Right. And they caught abuse for it. They were, you weren't racing. That's not how it should be. It shouldn't yep. be like that. Over and over and over. Okay? But they did what they had to do. Then they go to, you go to Phoenix. You're in a situation, and you did not stick to your gun. In my opinion, you did not say, okay, I need to win this race. But I don't have to, at all costs, win this race. Okay? And, and you cannot tell me that the desire to win a race didn't override the understanding of what it took to win a championship and the abuse they took for what they did at Talladega. You can't tell me that didn't factor into that as well. Strategy will come into play on Sunday for the championship, but ultimately, as Steve just mentioned, with these four drivers and the quality of these teams and the talent, it more than likely will take a win.